Hey everyone, I am Zoeb Khan and I am a front-end engineer. In this video, I will show you how to create a reusable confirmation dialog using Angular services and the Angular Material dialog component. Confirmation dialogs are great tools to use when you want to make sure the user really wants to do something in your web app. The Angular Material dialog component seems to be perfect for this purpose. But if your app is even moderately complex, you are going to need several prompt dialogs at different places, perhaps with different captions. That means more components and more code. So why not make a reusable dialog component which can be configured to show your message at runtime? Something like this. We have a dialog with yes no prompt with a confirm cancel prompt. All by using the same component code. Let's get started then. First we have created a new project and we have added the Angular Material Library to it. Then, we'll quickly import our material components, the button, dialog, icon, and the toolbar module. Great! We are all set up to create our component. Let's first create a dialog service to encapsulate the opening of the confirmation dialog. We can then use this service whenever we need to show a dialog. So let's write any generate service and we're going to give it a folder and a dialog. Next, we'll create the dialog component itself. Using any generate component, we are going to give it a uh, keep it in a folder dialogs and with the name of confirm. Great. So before making it configurable, let's create the layout for our dialog. So we'll go in our component template and start adding our layout. First, let's add a header with a title. And for that, we're going to give a class of header and we're going to add some styles. We'll add some styles to make it a flex row. We're going to give display flex and we're going to give a justify content of space between so that there's space between our close button and our text. Let's now write our title with an h2 tag. We're just going to call it title and then we're going to add a, a matte icon button with the close icon. Now the material dialog provides us with some ready-made directives. One of them is matte dialog close. This simply dismisses the dialog with the value we provide. So we are going to use my dialog close with false. This means the user has cancelled the dialog. Great! We don't need any event handlers. We'll also add the mat dialog header in our title so that it adds the necessary formatting. Next, let's move on to the content. I'm going to give a div. And we just have a simple div with matte dialog content as a directive. This adds the styling for the content and we just need to specify the message. Let's call this, are you sure you want to do this? Then lastly we need to add the prompt action buttons. For that angular material provides us with matte dialog actions. Let's add two buttons here. Uh, one will be with a caption of no and the other will be with a caption of yes. To add the other button, we're going to call this no here and we're going to call the other one as yes. For the confirmation button, we want the color of the button to be primary so that it is more noticeable for the user. This is better from a UX point of view. We'll also add an align end action, uh, to our actions row so that the buttons are right aligned. For the cancel button, we'll use mat dialog close with false as we did with the close icon. But for the confirm button, we'll add a mat dialog close with true so that the caller of the dialog can know the user agreed to this and proceed accordingly. Great! I think we have our template set up. Now let's add some code to our service. We're going to go in our service which is the dialog service and we're going to add a function called confirm dialog. 
first we're going to include the mat dialog service in our constructor here we're going to call it dialog once that is done we'll simply open up the dialog using this dot dialog dot open and give our confirm component great let's quickly add uh, a button to test this in our app component.html we'll provide a handler called open dialog and we're just going to add this handler here and include our custom made dialog service in our constructor and we'll just call the new function that we just created this dot dialog service dot confirm dialog great time for some testing let's do ng serve and see what we have got so when we click on open dialog here it shows us our basic confirmation dialog oops i think there's some mistakes that i made let's just remove the confirm works here and just fix the typo here and let's test again great so we have our dialog ready this is great but remember we want to make this configurable and reusable so we can use it in all of the places where we need some sort of confirmation in our app so to make this configurable we need to send in some parameters to the dialog let's define these parameters in the form of an interface for the confirm dialog data we'll create a models folder and add a file to it called form dialog data .ts. We'll open it up and add the interface that we want. Export interface, confirm dialog data. We're going to give a title, a message with a string, a confirm text with a string, and a cancel text with a string. Now the last two are actually the captions for our two buttons. Great. Let's then uh, allow our dialog component to accept this data. To do that, we'll just go in our confirm dialog, or rather our confirm component, and we'll add an inject decorator with the mat dialog data. And we're going to uh, specify data, and we're going to specify the type of this as our new interface. We're going to uh, replace our title with our new parameter that we are sending in. Okay, there's a squiggly line. This means that we need to make it public. We need to make it public. Great. So uh, this works fine. And now we're just going to replace the message, replace the confirm text, the cancel text, and the confirm text. Great. So how do we pass in the data to the dialog now? We just add a parameter to our function in the service and pass in the same in our mat dialog open function. Let's add a parameter with the same type and we are going to send the parameter uh, in the options object of the dialog.open function. Also since we are here, we will also like to send in the width so that we can make all our dialogs consistent in size. We'll, let's make it about 400 pixels. Also, we want to disable the close on clicking of the background since that can be irritating for the user. We want the user to explicitly cancel or close the dialog. So we're just going to give it true here. One last thing, we'll also like the caller of the confirmation to receive some response about whether the user confirmed the action or not. So we are going to add a observable return type boolean and we are going to uh, return uh, our dialog and its after close function great now in our main component we'll just need to check and subscribe to this uh, function to get our return value something and something here great so i think we're all set up with a configurable reusable confirmation dialog let's add a few buttons and test out their different confirmation boxes. Let's add three uh, buttons here with different handlers. 
here we have a yes no dialog a confirm cancel dialog and a yes no show not sure dialog and let's add the corresponding handlers here i'm just going to do it quickly uh, so i've added the title messages and the confirm text which are different in each case and let's now test it out great so there's an are you sure message then there's please confirm message and open yes and yes and not sure message great so there you have it simple and easy reusable confirmation dialogues which you can use throughout your app and save a lot of code and headache if you like this video be sure to subscribe for more thanks for watching